Okay, welcome to the uh, lesson one of the Christian Basics Discipleship uh, class. Um, this lesson will be on prayer and fasting. So when you first get saved, prayer is something that you really need to start doing as one of the first things that you do. But for most people, when you hear about the words prayer and fasting, it, it just kind of seems like something maybe religious or spiritual that maybe we should do, but we're just not quite sure of, okay, what is that exactly? So first off, what is prayer? Prayer is basically just talking to God. It's being sincere. You know, like when you talk to someone, you, you expect them to be um, real with you when you're talking. It's the same thing with God. When, when, you're pray when you're praying to God, you're being real with God. You are talking to him. For example, um, Lord, I, I am having a hard time with this coworker. I pray that you would help me to grow and to not be angry with them and to act like you want me to act and to not say stupid things. Amen. I mean, it just it doesn't have to be real, you know, elaborate or it doesn't have to be memorized prayers. It's just a real simple talking to God. Um, we don't pray to saints because they have no strength to save us. We don't pray to angels because they don't have any strength to save us. We pray to God and God answers us because we have um, someone who who's always there to listen in Jesus. So, um, what is fasting? Uh, fasting has historically meant to go without food, to um, to give up instead of eating, um, praying at that time and reading the Bible. Now, in modern times nowadays, uh, it's kind of been a little bit adapted. Um, so people will say, okay, I'll go without food, but also I want to give up time wasters like watching TV or spending time on my phone or social media. Um, now, because of health issues, a lot of people have said, okay, well, I can't go without food. Um, I have to be on the strict diet. And so instead, they'll say, okay, so I'm not going to skip food, but maybe I'll give up something that is just taking a lot of time out of my day, not like work, more like something like um, uh, I've spending, I have spent a lot of time on Facebook. Let's say I won't get on Facebook at all today, and instead, I'll just pray. That, that That's something that, that, that will help you. To really um, discipline yourself, you know, because food, I mean, that's something you need, you know. And so when you deny something that you need for the purpose of, you know, uh, focusing on something else like God, it will help you to um, to learn discipline in your life. Um, if you come from a background of drugs, for instance, you know, you get up whenever you feel like you go to bed whenever you feel like you do whatever you want all the time. Well, excuse me. As a Christian, you're now saying, okay, well, I don't live however I want now. I live however God wants. And with fasting, we say, okay, this is going – I'm going to learn, excuse me, to say no to those things that I want to do by saying no to things that are absolutely essential for me, like food. Now, I'm not saying don't go to work. You should go to work. But I'm saying um, things that are, are, are um, entertainment-based, playing video games and that kind of stuff. Um, so, the thing about prayer is God answers prayers if we ask. Um, he will not answer prayers if we don't ask. The Bible says this absolutely. It says, hey, um, ask, and I will answer. But if we don't ask things, God won't answer our prayers. Um, you know, a lot of times we have this kind of routine prayer that we do, maybe like a five-minute prayer or something like that. But prayers are meant to be more like a conversation with God, not, uh, not an event. Um, and so when we pray, it's more meant to be like, Lord, I pray that you would do a work in my family and that you would help my brother to get saved. I pray that you would help him to, um, to get off of drugs and, and to, um, to start coming to church and, and, and to clean up his life. And if there's anything that I can do to be there for him and to help him out of this, out of this, out of this problem that he's in, Lord, that you would give me the strength and, and give me the ability to. Amen. Something like that. Um, it's it's something where um, when you ask God something, he hears and he answers. Now, he doesn't always answer in the way we like or at the time that we like. Um, I've been praying for some things for the majority of my life since I was, you know, uh, seven or so. And I still haven't received an answer on those. But then I've prayed about other things and I have received an answer about those things. Because God answers in his time and in his way. 
but it's absolutely essential that we do ask because God won't answer if we don't ask. Um, also, which goes along with this, um, God answers if it's according to his plans, what he wants. God won't answer every prayer that we pray. Lord, I pray that you would give me a Lamborghini. Well, <laughs> see, I mean, like, God answers prayer if it's according to his plans. Um, and then there's sometimes when we just want something, and so we pray, oh, Lord, um, help me to get a really nice car, and then we go out and buy it without asking God if we should have or not. And that's something else. I'm more talking about, like, okay, God, um, I pray that you'd help me to... Um, to get a job and to be able to pay off my credit card um, and then you stop wasting money and you stop spending money on your credit card and you go out and look for a job and then God blesses you and guides you as you do that thing um, or maybe you're praying that hey God I, um, help me to get involved in a ministry or something like that so, so you pray and let's say um, God help me to be a pastor well what if God doesn't want you to be a pastor see I mean God answers prayers if we ask, but he's not going to answer prayers according to his, if it's, if it's not something that he doesn't want. Um, sometimes he will, but that's the exception, not the rule, and that's kind of a discussion for a different day. Um, with prayer, it's not about having a short prayer, you know, like, oh, I have my, now I lay me down to sleep, and then you go to sleep. You know, it's not it's not like that. It's also not about repeated prayers, you know, like memorized prayers or written prayers. Or, it's not like that either. It's more of – it's hard to be sincere about something that you didn't come up with and that, you know, you don't really mean. It's just words that you say. Those kinds of things, they're, they're just words. They're, they're not really prayers. Prayers are from the heart. Um, and as you grow, the longer you, you, you're saved – the longer and the more your your prayer time will increase or, or should increase and as it increases um, it will be more time consuming but it will also be more profitable um, as a pastor actually all of us pastors uh, Chuck Randy and and myself uh, we all spend a lot of time in prayer and it really affects our attitudes and it helps us to make wise decisions and obviously we don't always make the right decision but it helps us to make better decisions it helps us to think clearer with more of, of, of what does God want in the situation rather than just saying, okay, well, what am I tired of doing? What do I want to do? That kind of stuff. Um, absolutely. So um, the more we pray, uh, the more we pray, uh, the, we'll, we'll experience more deep, a, a deeper worship. And, and what I mean by worship will, will be discussed in a, in a later lesson. Um, but it basically helps the other things that this class is about to be more profitable. When we go to God and worship, um, we have a, a real encounter with him. Um, when we read the Bible, we understand things that we didn't understand before. Maybe we'll read something and we'll, under, uh, we'll see something that we never saw there. Oh, I never noticed it said that. You know, And we'll start reading, we'll start understanding more, and, and it'll start coming alive to us. Um, and the more we pray, the more we grow. Uh, the more, as a Christian, we become more like more like Jesus. The, the more we are able to overcome things that we've been battling, the more we're able to see victory in our lives. Um, and the more we're able to see lasting change in us and the situation. Um, see, God doesn't always change the thing that we're praying about. God, you know, I, I'm, I'm struggling with this. If he just change the situation, a lot of times he'll instead work in us and change us. The, the thing is, we can't we can't be impatient with God and say, God, I, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of doing it your way. Instead, we have to say, okay, um, this this might not be what you want, and I don't know what's going on. I can't explain this, but God, that you just you just do a work in me and help me to uh, be able to to grow from this and to learn from this, you know. And so there's a lot of different things that go on there. Um, but prayer. Prayer is never about having a perfect prayer. It's never about saying all the right things. You know, sometimes we try and make prayer like, oh, I hope I'm praying the right thing. I hope that 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 I'm saying the right words. Well, we're not going to always say the right thing. We're not going to always, you know, think the right thoughts. But as we pray, God will show us um, where we need to change, where we need to grow, where we need to learn, uh, what we need to give up in our lives. Um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's really a process, and, and it takes time. But it has a lot of great uh, rewards. 
so prayer and, and fasting that's those are the that's the first um, fasting kind of goes along with prayer that that's one thing um, but but prayer uh, that, that's that's really something that as a Christian you really have to develop a prayer life a time every single day of, of praying and really seeking after God um, and trying to know him more trying to uh, trying to act how he wants us to act trying to you know really get closer to, to, to God um, and that's really one of the first uh, things that um, are, is a good thing to develop as a Christian. Next lesson will be about uh, reading your Bible.